Cool. I'm jealous. I want to be in this band. This makes me want to play. <laughs> hey, I'm Nathan Walters, music producer, recording artist, and former boy band member. Back in the day, I was in a boy band called Plus One. We signed to Atlantic Records, worked with mega producer David Foster, and sold over a million copies. These days, I'm producing for others and making music for film and TV commercials. When I'm not doing that, you'll find me here releasing my own music, reactions, and unique approaches to music production. All right, today I'm going to be checking out Justin Timberlake, another former boy band member. I don't know, is he is he former? Is NSYNC still together? I guess so, they they, they showed up the other day. Um, is Plus One still together? I guess we never officially broke up, so. Maybe I'm not a former boy band member. Maybe I'm still a boy band member. <laughs> anyway, I'll go with former. All right, so that's what I'm going to be checking out. Justin Timberlake, Tiny Desk. Uh, you know, he's got his new record that came out recently, and uh, I checked out a couple songs on it that I really like. Um, I haven't... I haven't checked out the whole record yet. Maybe maybe I'll I'll do that here and do react to some of his songs. Let me know if that's something you want to want me to do. Um, but for now, let's check out Tiny, Tiny Desk. We got a uh, Justin. Uh, I'm interested to see this. Whoa! It is 25 minutes long. I don't know if I can commit to doing all in one setting. I might break this into two parts. We'll see. But let, let's dive in. Here we go. The band sounds good. Okay, cool. I can't wait to see it. Okay. Here we go. It's my pleasure to introduce to you. Hey, hey. City's a friend of mine. And I know about a name. Tiny Dash. What's his name? Justin. Sounds really good. Didn't know I'd be sing such a beautiful girl. Cool. I you know I I haven't uh I haven't seen a lot of Justin live performances so I don't think I've ever seen him play the keys like this I've seen him like do like a, a piano thing once but uh, this is interesting seeing him uh, perform like this playing the keyboard he sounds so great and he's playing keys really great like it's natural maybe that maybe that's new some of you are, are gonna say uh hey that's what he does so I'm. I, like I said, I don't really like live shows. Okay, I like live shows when they're great. I just don't like going to them. And I don't know why it's because I'm stuck in a studio <laughs> most of my life making music when I need, to be, I need to be going to shows more often. Anyway, let's go. There's so much energy already with everybody in the room. Man, look at all those horns. Yeah, they sound good. Cool. And I hear like uh, in my headphones, you know, the, the horns are panned over here and the band's panned over there. That's cool that they they kept that uh, panning spectrum happening. Oh. So full. Cool. I'm jealous. I want to be in this band. This makes me want to play. <laughs> that bass player, man. Cool. I like that segue. Oh, that bass sounds good, doesn't it? Classic song. He's, he's been around for a while now. Hey, 
He's playing a hollow body guitar. cool hearing those those live horns with these with this whole band uh that's cool i don't think i've heard it uh done this way I mean, like again maybe he does this often at his shows but this, this is really cool to hear it in this environment where uh yeah it's tiny death it's a tiny room you hear the you hear the room reverb you can tell it's done live and uh it's fun to, to watch is he wearing a pearl necklace <laughs> That, but octave up, you can hear that synth playing along. That's cool. I, I think it's that synth. This guy, the mo the mo the Moog. Yeah, that's what it is. Man, so I'm not surprised by this, but I just want to point out this is obviously live, and every, every I don't think anything's doctored later, because as far as like pitching the notes, like I think what they are playing is what we are hearing. What they played, those girls singing background, they sound so great. They're singing together, uh, their pitch is great. There, it's Justin's pitch, you know, is straight on. Man, everybody's. Professional. These are some of the best musicians here. And singers. And they're so locked in. The kick, you know, the, the drummer and, and the way the kick's hitting and then the bass is going along with it. Everybody. Everybody's so good. They're locked in. Oh, that's cool. He's got a DJ. I didn't notice that. Well, that's cool. Cool way to end it. Yeah, the guy on the uh, the keys giving us a little transition. What song is this? Oh. I don't know this song. Should I? This is the first time I heard this song. Oh, that organ sound. This guy's good. That's the guy in the background playing the organ. Man. Sounds so great. The I keep repeating myself, but this band is solid. And they're just like enjoying it. Like it's no big deal. That was cool. Hollow body guitar. I love ho hollow bodies. Um, I don't know if you know. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you. Uh, hollow body guitar like this inside it's hollow. <laughs> no big deal. But it, it's electric hollow like this Gibson man. It's such a great great sound. <laughs> you hear that in the background, that little DJ guy? That's that's so many sounds happening. Oh, 
Oh, that was cool. On that organ. Here, let me rewind it real quick. I think it's organ. But whoa, whoa. Yeah. Cool. Cool. You know, it's tasteful like that. He's like, baby. And that organ guy said, wah, wah, after him. That's, that's cool. I like that. I like that. Get that hi hat action happen on the drums. That's cool. I love the, uh, I love this organ guy. You know, sometimes it's like um, some of these instruments. I think at one one time in 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 music production. These were kind of like, oh, these are old instruments. People are over horns. They're over the organ. Let's do something cool, you know? And so you bring in synths and beats and stuff. So, um, but there's such a classic instruments that I think they're doing, they're being done in a way that feels, still feels fresh. Doesn't feel like, oh, okay, he's doing the boring part that an organ would do. Like he's like really making that organ entertaining, you know? And uh, same with the, the trumpets, you know? Then the horns, you know? Sweet. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I thought for a second something was going wrong. I don't know this song either. What's this? I don't know. I feel like am I supposed to be commenting? I'm just sucked in <laughs> listening to this. Uh, yeah, my overall reaction is, you know, we know Justin's a great singer. And, um, yeah, this proves it. In... Yep. It's Justin Timberlake. One of the best. This band's great. I know I was I was addressing those girls as uh, I was addressing the fact that the the girls are the BGVs, but uh, you got those two guys uh, also singing with them. They they all sound great. That's four people. The harmony sounds great. I love the the crescendo on those horns. I assume they would do it again. Your turn, come on. Say. Oh, oh, yeah. I hear you in the back. You get louder. Come on. Everybody. I wish we could see the audience here. I don't know this song. I'm hearing it for the first time. I have no attachment. It's weird. I have no attachment to this. The other ones I have, you know, I've, I've, I've known, heard on the radio. And, uh, Cool. Sound good. Everybody felt that. 
That guitar guy's good too. He's got like a wah. I don't know. Is that uh, to get that sound? I think you have like a little. Uh, what is it called? A wah wah pedal, or what? It's like a pedal that helps get that sound. I think. Yeah. Take me home. Is that a flute? <laughs> this is a flute. You got a flute? Okay, you got a flute, uh, saxophone, uh, French horn. No, I don't know if that's a French horn. Trombone? No, that's, I don't know what, what horns those are. Those aren't trumpets. Maybe they're a, a warm kind of trumpet. Maybe they are trumpets. I think they're French horns. I don't know. Yeah. All right. What's next? Woo, it's early. <laughs> Thank you guys they for having good. us. They sound good. We are early. JT and the Tennessee Kids. Make some noise for these fantastic. Tennessee Kids, that's right. They have a band name. Okay. Okay, so they're used to playing together all the time. No, all right, uh, Justin's playing a guitar. I've been out on the road a little bit. Um, and uh, I forget how Feels many like of church. us there are. You got the organ in the background. <laughs> Y'all really lived up to the name Tiny Desk. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, yesterday, That's trying funny. to get all of us in here was a game of Tetris. It was, but we did it. And we're here and we're happy to be here. Um, we wish you guys a, an amazing 2024, 2025, 2026. Right. Um, 27, 28. We hope you graduate to... Um, even just a regular desk, <laughs> <laughs> or or multiple desks. You have tiny desks, um, bigger desks, but bigger desks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L large cubicles. Um, nonetheless, yeah, nonetheless. Um, we are excited to be here. I'm a big fan of NPR. I'm a big fan of Tiny Desk, and um, so it's a real pleasure to be here. Um, All right, I'm just listening. <laughs> and I'm excited too because we're going on tour this year. We've got a new album coming out. All right. So, um, and uh, yeah, everything I thought it was, yeah. which is what I wish for you all um, prosperity, peace, love, um, and just a whole hell of a lot of fun because um, we're going to have a whole hell of a lot of fun. Um, so here's one from the new album, and all right, if you know it, sing it. New voice. album. Uh, this is called Selfish. Okay, I like this song. Never heard it this way. so different than the recording I don't know what I think yet oh there's that loop okay I was like man what what did I like about this track when I first heard it and it was the it was the loop the beat and I'm hearing it like they're playing to it right that you can hear in the background it's very tiny it's like bossa nova sound Cool, you know, I like this song. Uh, I had a friend, I listened to this song together with him, and um, his feedback, he was like, I don't know. This reminds me too much of uh, Nick Jonas's song. 
not melodically, but just the vibe. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. And, yeah, it's true, but, hey, it's nothing new under the sun. People rewrite song, things all the time. Um, that being said, uh, I've heard a few other people say that. And that, this doesn't bother me. I like I like this song, even if it is, even if Nick already had a vibe where he, he kind of talked about this lyrical content. Um, I really like this melody, and it's cool. And I like the verse melodies. I don't know if I'm loving this version. I'll be honest. It's cool. It's co- it's okay. I get it. Uh, you know, here I am in this doing a reaction video. Uh, I'm just telling saying my honest thoughts. This one feels a little sleepy compared to what I was hoping it w- it would be. But it's what it is. It's fine. I still am enjoying it. There we go. I love this chorus. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Fight it. Yeah, it's good. Oh, uh. and I was hard on him. Dante Winslow on the trumpet, y'all. but I still enjoyed it. He's, he's got a mute on his. That is a trumpet. It's got a mute on it, so it gets that sound. My dad's a trumpet player. I'm not an expert on trumpets, but I, I know a couple things. I know that this guy is amazing. <laughs> Trumpet is so hard to play, man. It, you don't just sit there and blow. You got to blow it the right way. And it's like, you know, it's like you also have to like do your mouth, your lips in a way that you can get different notes just by how you do your lips, right? And then you can get even more notes from the uh the position of your fingers on the whatever I don't even know, know what those buttons are called. I guess I don't know about trumpets, <laughs> but uh anyway, man, trumpet is so hard. My dad, you know, was a trumpet player, and he was always um playing it. And when as a kid, I try to play it. Man, it hurt my lips, and I just uh I just never got into learning how to play it. You know, uh, so I played the keyboard and the piano instead. But in recent years, now as an as an older man, and my dad is older, he's still here, and he's he picked up the the trumpet, and uh, he uh, not picked it up, he picked it back up as a, as a hobby again. He's just playing it all the time, and he was like, "Hey, I want it. I want. Can I record with you?" So I so we did a few songs together, and that was really fun because, um, yeah, you know, it was with my dad, and you know, we were bonding over music in that way. But um, I really, I, I had never really recorded the trumpet that much until it was with him. So I kind of learned a lot about on how to mic the trumpet and get the right sound out of it. And then once again, I was I was reminded of how hard it is to play the trumpet and, and get the, get the note on 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 pitch. Like when you're playing the piano and you hit a C note, it plays a C. You try to hit a C note in the trumpet, you better make sure you're doing everything right to get that C, or it's gonna be just a little flat, just a little sharp. It's hard playing those wind, wind instruments. All I say is this guy sounds great. That's Baltimore's finest right there. And he's Baltimore's finest. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay. I like this song too. I'm going to try not to be too harsh. I think what happened... I'll stop it. I think what happened is like there was so much hype from those other songs that these felt a little sleepy. So let me get let me get in this vibe. This is a great song. Got the flute. Oh, that's why. Okay. 
Who would have thought? So it's pretty. Hey girl, is he everything you wanted in a man? You know I gave you the world. You had me in the palm of your hand. Sounds good. Why you love when okay. Away. Sorry to stop it, guys. He sounds so great. That microphone, what are they using? Because I want that microphone. <laughs> this one, I feel like I get it. He's like back here, and you hear him so great. I need to look into that. Just can't seem to understand. I feel like it's a Sennheiser mic. Thought it was me and you, baby. Me and you until the end. But I guess I was wrong. wrong. Oh. Sing it with me. Don't want to think about it. Don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I'm just so sick about it. Can't believe it's ending this What a great song. It's pretty, the piano. Tell me, is this fair? Is this the way it's really going down? Oh, the bass coming in. And the, all the harmonies. And Justin sounds like good. That you are gonna make me cry. It's breaking my heart to watch you run around. Cause I know that you're living a lie. Doesn't sound good. What's gonna happen? Is the beat coming in? Everybody. What goes around, goes around, goes around, comes all the way back around. It's hard not to sing. What goes around, goes around, comes all the way back around. Wow, what an interesting texture hearing the uh, flute with that. I don't, I don't hate it at all. It's actually really pretty. Come on, I need a beat. No? Leave us hanging, sucking us in. Pull, he's Justin, you're pulling us in. I thought I heard someone back there. <laughs> Changing up the chords. I don't think the drums came in at all. They sound great. All right. What's next? What's next? Am I breaking this into a part two? No, we're going through it. We're going all the way through. All right. They said we couldn't do it. They said, we, they said don't do this song at Tiny Desk. So what said, song? Like DJ Cal, guess what? What song? <laughs> What? We go what? to this song. Y'all ready to have a good time? <laughs> what is it gonna Tennessee be? Kids, y'all ready? Yeah. We're ready. Let's, Let's go. What party. are you gonna? Tennessee kids, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's have a party. Come on. Oh. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Tiny what? desk, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's have a party. It's a tiny desk, y'all ready? Yeah. I love that Let's loop. That loop is so cool. What a cool that? drum loop, right? Oh, yeah, let me get that one more time. Two, three, four. Hey, uh. Here we go. Let's go. Uh -huh. One, two, DJ. three, four. Ah, uh. uh, megaphone. Here we go. Ready, baby? Cool. This is fun. What a cool groove. Oh, you got Timberland's vocals in the background on the track. Man, I love this. I want to say this real quick, not to break up the vibe, but I will. Um... I saw something online uh, where Kanye was talking about, he came out with the song Stronger, or his remix of Stronger, right? And he said it was because uh, it, he was trying, he, it was his answer to Justin's uh, sexy back because it was so cool and it was, you know, on the charts and at the clubs, it was like doing so great. And he was like, 
man, that's why I came up with stronger because I had to come up with something better. And Kanye said that. And I saw, I heard him say this, so this is not hearsay. And then, uh, and then he also said, um, but when he got in the club, sexy back was just hitting so great and stronger. It was sounded muddy. And he was like, what? They can't do this. So he, what he did is he, he took stronger and, um, and he sent it to, uh, Pharrell Williams and had him do a version. And he said that Pharrell's version, it sounded good, but just sounded different. It was like a different song. So then he, then he sent it to uh, Swiss Beats and Swiss Beats did a version. And he said, same thing. Yeah, it sounded good. It's just different, you know? So he said to him, going, man, I got to take it to Timberland. So he took it to Timberland and, uh, Kanye says that uh, Timberland took five minutes, made it way better, and then took the next hour talking about how uh, he was the only one who could do it, you know. Because in a lot of that is because, uh, you know, Timberland, he makes all these beats with his, with his mouth. So you're getting these unique textures. And it makes me wonder if there's something about with the beats that he makes with his mouth. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that frequency just... <laughs> It's harder on the speakers in the club. I don't know. But anyway, that's the story I, I, I heard Kanye say. I love this song. When I first heard it live, I mean, when I first heard it, sorry, when I first heard it um, years ago when it first came out, I didn't, I, I, I didn't. It wasn't like I didn't like it. I was just like, what is this? This is so different. I don't know if I like it. That's what it was. I was like, I don't know what I think about it. And I was leaning more on the side of, I don't think I like it. <laughs> but when I heard it like the second or third time, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. That DJ's tearing it up. That's different. Same, same chords, same loop. Well, I know they changed up the chords a little bit, but it's the same thing over and over and over and over again, but it's still fun. They're changing up the chords here, but on the record, it's the same. Oh yeah. What's making that sound? Oh, guitar. Yeah, that's what he said. Break it down. Cool. Cool. That's hard to do on the trumpet. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Different. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll clap. Is he going to do an encore? <laughs> Baltimore's best, finest. <laughs> Who doing rock 
Rocking it up a little bit. All right. Cool. Yeah. That was cool. That drummer's tasteful. That drummer's tasteful because he wasn't... Oh, this is this it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I was saying that drummer was very tasteful. He was uh, out of out of the way when needed. You know, he like he let the beat do its thing. What was on the track? He let it do its thing, and then he came in and and did it, showed off his chops at the right time. All right, that was fun. Thanks for staying, sticking around. Those of you who did, and uh, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, like subscribe share this video with others and uh leave something in the comments let me know what you think uh about i don't know let me know what you thought about this reaction if i was wrong on some things or if i if i had a question put the answer there but more importantly let me know what other videos are or artists you want me to react to and i'll see you next time